Laurie. Laurie. My name is Nora. Nora? Yes, um, Are you getting a lot of us folks that don't have a clue? Yeah, well, I mean, well, yeah. It's just, um, we haven't really enrolled anybody yet because, um, the website's still having, like, the little glitches and stuff since everybody's trying to log on. We've tried. We've tried. Okay. Will you just explain it to me? Okay. So just start from the beginning. You don't have, do you have, have a, any particular questions. Or? Do, you have, um, do you have the application with you? Yes. Can we just, if we go through it, then I could take it home? Yeah. And that would be doing the best. And now is it for you and your family, or are you just you? It's just me. Well, and I have a 17-year-old, so do I need to insure him? Um, does he have insurance? No, neither of us do. Okay, he doesn't... Y'all don't, he doesn't qualify for Medicaid or CHIP or you've never tried that for him? No, well, he's never been sick. Okay. So we just never... Good. That's good, though. We just never did it. Okay. Okay. This is normal stuff, normal stuff. Are you working? Are you employed? I have a part-time job. Okay. Okay, what about, I have two jobs. One's part-time and the other is part-time, but I don't claim the income. So how does that work? Um, if you don't claim the income, then you don't have to. So I don't have to claim it here? Mm -mm. Okay. You don't, when you file taxes, do you claim it there? No. Okay, then no. And you're, you're sure you won't, they won't find out? <laughs> if you, as long as you don't claim it anywhere at all, it's... Okay. I shouldn't have even said anything. Well, no, I mean... But, okay. Well, what change will the employer make? Okay, so they don't... Okay, who can use this application? Who's faster? What happened? Let's go. Okay, this is about... Home address. So I can do all that at home. See, I couldn't even get this on the internet. No. No? Okay. Who needs health coverage? Okay. And then I could put Colby there. Do I have to put them there? Will that change by? You have to include them in the application. Um, it really it goes by based off your income and household size. So, um, depending on how your income is, you I claim about fifteen thousand a year. A year, and it's two people in the household. Yeah. And then my other question: I don't see anything about this stuff. Okay, assistance. Are you not? Are you an authorized representative? Just the, the I put in. Well, actually, this one's here. I'm confused. Boy. This, this one has the. Okay. The license number in the back. Um. Just a certified application counselor. And you live here in Blue Lane. We just moved here with my sister. She has a house out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, here's another. This is all confidential, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What, a, what about if we have a pre-existing condition? It isn't. It doesn't matter. It won't charge you more or less, and they can deny you for, for that. They can't? No. I don't see that on here. Okay. So I don't have to say it on here? No. Nope. Really? Because they cannot. The plans for the through the health insurance marketplace, they're set already. Like how much it's going to be each month. Okay. So whether you put it or, or you don't put it, it's going to stay the same. The only thing is, when we say it goes based off your income, it just depends if you qualify for the premium tax credit, which is when, like, federal government is going to help you pay for your insurance. Because depending on your income, which, let me see. And this is just like an estimate. So it's, it, depending on your income, it'll tell you more or less how much you will pay each month. How much will I have to pay? What a cute mouse. 
So you said it's it like fifteen? Yes. Fifteen. So are you, um, do you, go, do you go to the doctor a lot? No. No? Okay. And when you say you have a pre-existing condition, um, is it for you or your son? It's for me. Okay. And so I can't get insurance now because it's too much. So this oh, is pretty cool. Yeah, this is. Because it, it would have gone to 1800 a month okay. for me. So. Yay for Obamacare, and I guess. So I was call. hoping you were with the Obama, because um, we've had some patients that are mad because of it, and they come in here, and they're like, well, I was like, well, I don't really make the rules. I was just here to assist if people needed assistance with the application. Are you kidding? <sighs> okay, so if you were to enroll in a plan, um, just say you would start going to the doctor a lot. Okay. It, I mean, would you if you had insurance? Probably not. No? Okay. The only thing is because there's four different types. You can get the bronze, the silver, no, it actually is three because the catastrophic is only for 30 and under. But the bronze, the silver, and the gold. The silver and the gold is mostly, that will cover pretty much everything. It's just depending. The, the gold has, um, the gold plan actually has like a less deductible then okay. so if you go to the doctor a lot I don't I never get okay, sick so you would probably it'll probably be good for you to get the silver plan which um okay okay so all right <laughs> super how much is that I'm so excited it's not even close to eighteen hundred dollars is it what? oh no Wait, uh, can you see it on her? Did uh -oh. they didn't plug it in. This, Nora? Hmm. Yeah, we, me and Joe seen that yesterday. Yeah. Where it shows you the, yeah. That's without the premium tax credit. Okay. Uh -huh. How do you remember all this stuff? Oh, it was. We had two day training in Austin. We had to stay over there overnight, and it was like an all day thing. And then we did like since we've been doing it since June, like training and readings. And oh my! I was ready to like pull my hair because it was like, oh, my, I'm never gonna get it. I'm never gonna get it. But then. One day. When October the 1st came, it's cause nobody knew how it was going to be in it, and so we were clueless, and then it was, and then finally. Um, if you were um, to go with the silver plan, there's, let me see. The lowest one that I see on here right now, it's for you and your son, it's $469. A month. You're kidding. Yeah. No, uh, and then, but wow. if we were, if wow. you wanted to apply for your son, like if, since your income, mm -hmm. he qualified, they would probably refer him out to Medicaid or CHIP. Okay. So it would probably lower your monthly premium because it would just be covering you and they would refer him to Medicaid or CHIP because he, he qualifies depending on the, the income that you told me. Wow. Okay, so they won't go into, okay, my Republican friends, and they hate this, and they said that they would go into my bank account. No. And find out about my, I hang wallpaper on the side, and people usually pay me cash. Oh, no. No. I mean, if you don't report that, then no. I mean, come on, it's two or three hundred dollars every couple, whatever. So. You're positive? Okay. Yeah, no, you don't I'm so excited. Okay. That's 
that's like through Blue Cross Blue Shield. That's that's the four hundred and sixty nine. That's the lowest wow. for you and your son. But if like they refer him out to Medicaid, if they look at your income and they're like, well, he he should be on Medicaid instead, then it will lower you because it will just be coverage for you. Oh, this is so and awesome. Now they have like the vision. If you want with vision and stuff, it goes up to five hundred and twenty four dollars. But Blue Cross and Blue Shield, they're I mean, they've been around a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want the silver plan. Oh my God, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. What about, um, do I have to come get a physical and all that stuff? Like, to before you enroll? Mm -hmm. No. I don't. No, you just submit um, the application. Like, it would be really good if, if the website was up because... Then we could see it. You can just, they'll tell you, okay, this is all the plans that you can get on and and right now all it, it does is just gives us options like it's just an estimate that's okay because when it comes up since I've been to talk to you I'll have a better understanding mm -hmm. do they have like um, okay well I spoke about six cigarettes a day does that count that does make it go up a little bit do I have to say I mean how would they know they won't know I mean it's six cigarettes yeah no they won't know that's I not mean, really smoking I should just quit I mean, I'm not supposed to really say don't put that because I mean, right? If you do put it, it does. It does. You it goes up. Yeah. Okay. That's the only one of the only things that well, is if if you smoke cigarettes, you know, it would go up. Okay. It's just six. Sometimes four. Well, I don't even know why I do this four. <laughs> I think it's just being mad. How stupid, isn't it? Why? Well, yeah, that's around how much you would pay. Now, if you wanted, like, dental coverage, vision coverage, everything, the PPO Silver for Blue Cross Blue Shell will be, like, $603 for both you and your son. For everything? Like, each month? For dental and vision? Mm -hmm. And health care. you got to be kidding. It's the three. How can somebody not like this? <laughs> Wow, how's that happening that they don't like this? No, there's a lot of people against it. But why? I don't... They say because they have to pay for something that they don't want, which is still the same thing. If somebody goes to the ER and they don't have money to pay, the people that end up paying are the taxpayers, and that's them. So it's either... I mean, they don't want to pay for something that they don't want, but they don't. They also don't want to, like... Gotcha. So they don't realize that in the long run, Either they're paying way. it up front and not at the in the back. Because everybody has to have health insurance and they don't want to pay. They don't want to pay for some, like, for their health care if they don't need it. But either way, and then they're, you know, the ones that are, that really do need it, they, if they go to the ER right now, they're going to get seen. And either way, they're going to have to pay for it, like the taxpayers, like the Republicans. Because if I went, yeah. I, I mean, I know I couldn't pay for it. Yeah, so it would, it'll be taxed out of everybody else's that's actually paying for insurance. Okay, awesome. I get it. I didn't know why they were so upset. My neighbor's really upset. Oh. <laughs> and she's like, she like foams at the mouth. I never say anything because she doesn't know. But, yeah. Um, she doesn't like Wendy Davis, and I love Wendy Davis. <laughs> oh. I'm going to put a sign in the front yard. She's going to hate it. Do you think she has a chance of winning? Oh, Wendy? Yeah. I don't know. I hope. Would that be awesome? My neighbors would leave Texas. They said they would. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's pretty much, you know, just an estimate of, because you live in Caldwell County, that's the plans that they offer. Um, if you I mean if you wanted gold, you know it would probably go up for like forty dollars. That's amazing. Okay, I ha this is all confidential, right? Mm -hmm. I have one more question. What happens if I'm not a legal resident? Like legal. Yes. Okay. If you're not a legal resident, then, then more than likely you would qualify. How would they know? 
um, whenever you submit the application, they want social security number. Okay. Do they really check? Um, you're using somebody else's social? No. Okay. But your income, you're working under it, under that social and everything, right? They just never have asked. It's mm -hmm. just they give me um, ten ninety nine. Really? Okay. I don't. I mean, as long as you're using that social and it's yours, I mean, they don't, they don't ask for birth certificates. It, I mean, on here when you submit the application, it tells you what what you need to submit with it. Okay. And that this. this so I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble? I mean. I mean, you just, they won't, I mean, it's not asking, when we submit, I submit, I had one lady come in here and she put it out, and I just, she, we mailed it off for her, she just, she, I didn't, she didn't have social security numbers, I mean, uh, birth certificates on there, they just, just the social, that's all that says, that's all they need on here is social security numbers. Okay, you're a lifesaver. You made my day. You have made my day. Well, I'm here if you have any more questions. Can I call you next week? Mm -hmm. I'm going to fill it out. This isn't on, but I'll fill it out. I'll try again. I'm not very computer savvy. So do you, um, what about your son? Do you want to try to get him on this? or? I'm going to have him come talk to you. Is that okay? Well, he's 17, right? Yes. Yeah. So he can't? No, because he's underage. Because it's, it's up to you whether you want to include him in that or you want to submit a Medicaid application. Okay. So I'll just see what Medicaid costs him. Okay. Oh, well, and Medicaid's free, and so is CHIP. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Yes. All these years? I didn't know that? Yeah. It, I mean, it's everybody, like, checkup, dental, it's all vision for anybody under 18. If they get approved for Medicaid and CHIP, everything's free. Immunizations, everything. Okay, if all this stuff is available right now, why are people so mad? Why is my neighbor so mad? I don't know. She's the meanest thing. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. I have never voted before, but this year I'm voting. <laughs> I don't think I can, though, right? Okay, Lord. Lord, you Yes. Mm -hmm. My gosh, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome.